for latest updates subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon good evening uh, all of you uh, and welcome to the league uh, i'm really glad to see the very good number uh, of experience this year uh, for the regulation 6 examination it's a very thrilling experience i would say uh, i couldn't uh, i couldn't clear as sir said in a first attempt although my journey has been throughout with jbs for both the attempts uh, second attempt yes it required lot of effort now uh, understanding the how to crack the sir will be definitely giving lot of inputs and lot of tips all through the uh, course uh, that you will be going through see you have to understand the one thing that the regulation 6 exam day by day is getting very difficult because of uh, we as we are the custom representatives uh, custom is being very qualitative about the representative it chooses and hence raising the bar quality bar of f card holders day by day as well as the g card holder these are rules applies to both so exams are getting tougher uh, year after year uh, each uh, now also the very uh, uh, another aspect of it is that this exam uh, is uh, the law that we are studying is a very subjective subject uh there are multiple interpretations available to the language however the exam we are attempt is uh, attempting is objective in nature so you have to be really point pointing and understanding what they are actually asking so uh, this exam where you are preparing please do not try ever to mug up the sections mug up the law custom act no try and understanding the key to success will be focus from day one consistency repetition the number of times you revise and repeat your cycle uh, if i see my journey you understand uh, uh, just like you people i did my online course with jbs then uh, in month of february i did this offline courses with them which was a very quick revision within one week that they get get through which otherwise if you study by yourself you never going to go finish your uh, uh, entire curriculum in 6 days but they quick you they take you very you know very quick cycle and uh, listening to them personally is another experience and it really adds value after you have attended this whole uh, uh, piece meal uh, pro, uh, two hour program on a two months or three months spread it across then comes the uh, third one uh, i was for, i unfortunately my exams in the first attempt were, uh, were delayed So I also attempted for the repeat, uh, revision or uh, uh, recap or a refresh course. So that was my uh, third uh, refreshment. And while in second attempt, I again appeared for this their uh, personal training. So number of cycle and revising uh, on each cycle gave me different perspective and a deeper understanding. So focus, revision, consistency. please understand you have to be consistent it will not be like today you studied well and then tomorrow it will be you are into the office work no it will not uh, be like that you won't be you have to be really committed to your goal if you really want to achieve to it and for that uh, uh, these are uh, there are five areas you can target upon uh, so consistency and repetition will give up, uh, give you the result in case in this five areas you can uh, you know note it down if you want to first and foremost important like our thumb is the custom act right so custom act pit pat you must be some uh, you will be also uh, meeting virens or he'll say you should you should be pit pat with your custom act then the the first finger uh, majority work we do with this this is the first finger is your rules regulation and notifications related to custom act you should be thorough with then comes your ftp foreign trade policy you uh, uh, you can really rely upon and really uh, give more importance on ftp why because it's been now uh, introduced ftp 2023 and hence you can expo expect lot of questions on that over the past two years what we observe is the reliance earlier it was because customer kar liya to matlab 80% paper aa jayega it's now not that now lot of other areas they are covering up so ftp will be another great area that you should be expecting uh, questions from uh, third is allied act and uh, pgs 
participating government agencies uh, that are there and related uh, all the rules and regulations, compulsory compliance, CCR, what we call, and processes. And the fifth is uh, other aspects, the like project import, temporary import under uh, ATA carnet, then EPR. You can expect now EPR, uh, you can much uh, put your in, uh, importance to EPR, that is uh, extended producer uh, responsibility about batteries and all that. So these are the other areas you should be targeting upon. So these five areas, if you are well connected and if you're aware abreast with these five aspects, uh, you can pretty much be sure that you would be uh, able to get it through, right? So these are the five areas uh, that you must go on with the understanding them deeply, reputation, consistency, and commitment with which you can uh, target upon and things should uh, fall in place. As far as your timeline is concerned, you can also you know, uh, uh, divide into your whole thing. Your exam would be in the month of March. So this uh, time till October, you can uh, target to finish your entire uh, syllabus uh, with respect to Custom Act and uh, rule, uh, Custom Act. Then from October to December, you can devote your time in other four aspects, understanding that is regulations related to Custom Act, FTP, LIDAX. LIDAX also, uh, you can uh, last time, SEZ Act, NDP, last to last time, NDPS, Cosmetics Act. Those were the, uh, there were a lot of questions from them. So regulation six, there is a syllabus uh, uh, in the regular uh, given, and there are acts given it. it Please make sure that you go through uh, other allied acts may not be as in depth, but yes, you should be aware of. So from October to December, you can try on uh, getting grip over that. After December comes your repetition, attending this their uh, uh, physical training program, which will again give you a quick rotation of the thing. And then daily 300 MCQs you can uh, attempt. Start with 100, reach up to 300. Start with uh, subject-wise, topic-wise, reach uh, mixed bag. Believe me, attending 150 questions, uh, we uh, at last mo month, that is month of March, last 15 days, we I have attended, uh, I have attempted only an already practice test. Last, last month is practice test in time, and uh, you must practice, be able to practice 300 questions. Because when you appear for exam, it will be like, one question will be from custom act, the other will be from other. So jumping makes you mentally exhausted. The other, uh, so practice, practice, and practice. That is the last month thing. And uh, you can, uh, I, I mean, at least I did it. I made a diary where wherever I was wrong, I noted personally those questions. I mean, I read the, on those topics, made my quick notes, and then ultimately I had... Uh, develop a good note for uh, my own uh, understanding. So if you say, okay, uh, if you took two hours to attempt the uh, test, then the next two hours should be to uh, target on your, where did you fail or what are the sub subject where you got maximum negatives on? Because you, you have to understand this question, this exam also gives you negative marking. So whatever you, is each negative or each wrong answer is loss of four marks. How? You didn't get the three that you were supposed to get by attempting that question rightly. Moreover, you also got the negative one. So it is a uh, notional uh, loss of four marks for you. And uh, believe me, uh, apart from the knowledge, it, this exam passing is also mathematics, pure mathematics. So keep very much, uh, uh, what do you call, alert during the paper how much attempted, how much you are sure that you were right, how are you attempted not sure, uh, how, do, how much you were uh, doubtful and uh, you have not attempted and uh, which one do you want to The entire receipt you can do frequency distribution and wherever you require to note down or mark a question, you can do that. But, but a lot of your success will depend that on that mathematics also because I have seen really scholarly people way above me, which used to give me really good pressure but they failed because of this uh, mathematics that they got wrong on. So exam uh, is a preparation plus performance. 
and uh, consistency it is i don't i don't see that uh, i mean any point that you would not be able to do it with the help of jbs and the constant uh, guidance they're quite expert it uh, at it so please 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 listen to sirs and faculties very carefully and what are, more than the words what they're trying to say understand that that will give you really edge over others uh this is all i wanted to tell you all in a quick nutshell apart from that if you have any individual questions uh, you can raise your hand and i'm open to answer for detailed learning of all logistics subjects visit www.logivader.com